classes during the first few months of 2011, a pretty exciting time for, for digital. Did you have social, which is a huge media. trend. Uh, group Основной buying тенденция has been really big in the last year. Сети. I don't know if uh, other Russian companies like this too, but you have guilt and rulala and people like that, where you have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people online, coming together to buy a special on the web, maybe it's shoes, maybe it's a jacket, maybe it's you know, a food item and you get a big discount because there's a huge group buying it. And that's also ties into coupons, like Groupon, which has, of course, been uh, invested, uh, rumored that DST might invest in that, a Russian venture capital firm. So I think social, I think the changes in e-commerce driven by group buying, I think those are probably the, the two biggest. And then I think what's been going on for a number of years is really growing is TV on the web, Hulu.com, and other things like that. And then, of course, you have YouTube, where everyone becomes a journalist. You know, you can uh, uh, have anything. Anybody can go with a camera Сейчас and tape record and an event out in the town or, you know, uh, uh, something happening all of a sudden uh, and then give it out and uh, broadcast it on YouTube and millions of people watch it. I think the television set, the monitor, the thing you actually watch TV on will be around forever. But I think that the, uh, what we call broadcast networks in the United States, ABC, NBC, Fox, CBS, I think they'll be very different. I think the cable channels probably will be different too, you know. CNN, Discovery, you know, Bravo, Showtime, Lifetime, A&E, USA, all those people are going to start having a bigger and bigger presence on the internet, so they'll have TV, and they'll have the internet, they'll have both, and they'll have the smartphone, and it isn't just going to be about the TV set. So I don't think TV is going away, but it's not going to be the only big box that people pay attention to. I think you're going to have, you know, very expensive dramas that cost a lot to make, and those are going to be made by TV studios, and those are going to be shown first on a network before they're put onto the web. You know, 20 years from now, who can say? But I think for the next 10, 15 years, you're going to still see uh, the TV networks pretty active. Not as profitable as they used to be. Not as easy or good a business, but still they'll be in business. I think we're going to have a lot of multiplicity and fragmentation and some conversion, some integration of TV and the computer, but I don't think it will be complete. Now, the iPhone, the smartphone may change that. The smartphone may be that device that integrates TV and the Internet together, and also the Blu-ray DVD player. You can certainly find plenty, and if you're willing to steal it, then then you can find, you know, literally Сейчас everything. So I think, I think this affects profits, it affects revenue. Uh, some revenue will be down, some profits will be down. It won't be losing money. The TV guys are still going to make money, but they might make less due to the competition from the Internet. No, main revenue is still advertisement for broadcast TV. Obviously, for cable TV, the monthly payment to or satellite TV uh, is a bigger piece of the, chain, of the, of the revenue. So it's right now, for free TV, it's advertising, and for pay TV, it's the payment from the consumer.